Welcome everybody to Carol's Art Room. Today in my video, I'm going to do a bloom on this, uh, I think it's like a four inch wooden canvas, a five inch. I just scraped one, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do it over. I didn't blow it out very well, so I'm gonna try again. Okay, so I've got some uh, Naples Yellow by Jo Sonia. It's opaque, so I'm going to put that on the bottom. Then I got some Basics Light Blue Violet. It's also opaque, so I'm going to give it a try on the bottom too. I think it's a little bit semi-transparent when I tried it out on something. Um, then I have Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. It's got a little bit of metallic artist loft purple in there too. And now I have some uh, this piggy pinwheel. some gold on top. I hope I can blow this one out better. I think I'll just use black, black this time. better than it was earlier. And sometimes if you blow too hard you get all the weight from underneath and I don't want that really. I don't mind a little bit but what's the point of putting all your colors down if you get all white showing? So you gotta be careful not to go too hard or too close. It's pretty. Oops. Okay, so I'll break some of these air bubbles. Put a little bit of paint underneath your canvas won't move just but once it starts to run down the sides and touches this your spinner then it won't move <coughs> so the paint kind of holds it there here we go 
Yes, if you've noticed on my channel, I have a lot of blooms because I just love them. Love them, love them. Now I'm gonna do something. I usually modify it around the outside. I've been getting a bit closer lately, so I'm gonna I'm gonna modify this one around everywhere. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty nice. nice when I spin. So I think it's ready for a spin. When you spin it, it helps the, the bloom to spread out. You could tilt it by hand too if you don't have a spinner. If you have a square, tilt it corner, go back to the center, corner, go back to the center, and at each corner, but always go back to the center. I have recipes in the description under my video. All my air bubbles are popping through. That's what happens when you just stir your paint. It's probably a good idea to let it sit for a while and let the air bubbles pop out, but sometimes you just have to paint. I can't believe I've been doing this for probably five years. Four on YouTube, I believe. Here we go, I'm gonna spin again. Well, wow, it's very pretty. Colors are very vibrant. deeper on this so it's going to take more paint and I usually stop spinning after this doesn't move much. Okay, I need to spin it again. It's very subtle, but I like it. I like it. I wish I had more of this showing. That's really pretty. That was on top. Most of it went around the edges so it gets spun off. Oh. <coughs> Let's 
So just pick it up and then see if it's move, moving much. That's pretty good now. I think I'm going to leave this one. So this is my Swirled Bloom. Modified Swirling. It's modified with swirls. Okay, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let this dry. Bring it in for a close up. It's very pretty. There you go. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great day back to Carol's art room. I'll put the dried result at the end of the video. Bye. Hi everyone. Okay, here's my um, dried hexagons. They dried pretty good. This one has a couple of little bumps in it, like little pimples. So I don't know what that's from, but dried pretty good. This one didn't move at all. Well, they're pretty. The colors are awesome. There you go. Thanks for watching and have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.